Greetings. In this video, we're going to run OpenVAS against a target. The target's going to be a Windows 10 Enterprise system. For our setup, we have two machines running in VirtualBox. This one right here is Kali Linux 2019.1. It is the system that OpenVAS is running, as we can see here by the Greenbone Security Assistant. Over here, we've got the Windows 10 Enterprise system. This system uh, is fresh installed, but it did do an update, and we haven't uh, really modified it too much. So first off, to do the scan, you need to go task. And you notice this little uh, message pops up here that'll walk you through the task, the scan wizard. So we can walk through the scan wizard if we want to. We're scanning this target over here which is 192.168.100.5. That's the Windows 10 Enterprise System. So the first thing you want to do once we've gone here is you can click on Task Wizard if you want to walk through the wizard. Here we go. So 192.168.100.5. That's the target right here. Start scan. Pretty straightforward. We'll see what it comes up with. You can look at the scan progress there it said requested before now it looks like it's actually running it went from requested to running so it takes a little while to start it's at one percent right now and as vulnerabilities are discovered if any are discovered they will show up here so it looks like it finished and it says done but there are no vulnerabilities here so we can drill down into to the details a little bit you can click on the name of the scan. Uh, since we just did the wizard, it called it immediate scan of 192.168.100.5. We click on that. We scroll down here. There is one report available, so we can click on that report. It tells you the date. And if we scroll down, we've got zero findings right here. So it looks like it didn't find anything. You can also click on the date right here to view the report. By default, it will name the report the date and time. So right here, the report is empty. The target host could be regarded dead. So for some reason, OpenVAS was not able to communicate with the Windows 10 Enterprise system. And let's figure out that reason real quickly. Uh, I'm pretty sure the reason is because the firewall is enabled in the Windows 10 system. We'll just double check though. So let's go to our Kali Linux system here and let's do a ping and see if we can ping. I'm sorry, let me move this over. See if we can ping the Windows 10 Enterprise system. So ping 192. 168.100.5. We're not able to ping it. So OpenVAS didn't find anything because the Windows 10 Enterprise System, the firewall is enabled on there. So let's go ahead and disable that firewall and just rerun the scan to do a quick test here. So right click on the network icon in the bottom right in the system tray and go to open network and internet settings. Here you should scroll down where it says Windows Firewall, click on that. From here, we're going to disable the firewall. So where it says private network, it says active. This is the network interface that is in use. It applied the profile for private network to it. So if you click on that, right here it says Windows Defender Firewall. So let's turn this off. Click on yes. If that works, we should see the ping go through over here on the left. We saw it go through. So now we will rerun OpenVAS and see what different results we get. So I'm going to go back over here to the Kali machine with OpenVAS. We'll do the same process. We'll go up here to Scans, Task. And we can just rerun the existing scan right here. Uh, it, there's a button here that says Play. We can start that. We can also rename it. So let's rename it first, edit the task. We'll call it something a little more meaningful. So we'll call this scan of the IP. 
And we'll go ahead and click on save here. And now we'll click on play. So this should go to requested and then it should start running. Now that the firewall is disabled on the Windows 10 machine, we should get some information back. As I mentioned uh, before, the Windows 10 Enterprise machine was just patched and we are doing a non-credentialed scan. So the results may not be uh, very accurate. So the scan is running and we're at 1%. Also, you, you'll, you'll see the screen refresh periodically. That's tied to this up here. So if you wanna change this uh, or say no auto refresh, you can do that and just manually refresh the screen. But basically, uh, Greenbone won't update until it refreshes. So by default, it's 30 seconds, which is typically good enough. If you want it to refresh faster, you can just press uh, F5, which will refresh the browser. But you notice when it refreshed, it went to 32%. So if I'm kind of impatient, I can hit F5, which will force it to refresh again. Now it's 46%, or I can wait the 30 seconds uh, for it to re refresh again. And you notice also, this is taking longer than the previous scan, which means it's doing something. The last scan didn't take very long at all because there was no ports open. Uh, we couldn't ping the device. There's nothing accessible because the Windows firewall was enabled. All right, so it's finished and we had one medium finding. So let's go ahead and look at the results for this. You notice there are two reports available here. The first report is what we ran earlier where we didn't get any results, but there's a second report. So we can click on these reports right here, click on the number two, it will bring up a list of the reports. And the latest one is the one we just ran right here. So I'm gonna click on this one. It'll show us this medium finding and it shows us the DCE, RPC and MS, RPC services enumeration reporting. So if I click on that, it tells us what we were able to get and what the uh, actual vulnerability is. I should also tell you, if you scroll down here a little bit further, the solution is to filter incoming traffic, which we had with the firewall turned on. So this was just a quick demonstration of how to validate that OpenVAS is actually working against the target.